Fast car here, guys, and uh, welcome back to another episode. We're in the garage today, guys. Been a while, but on the bench today. We got ourselves here. Uh, Axial Wraith uh, is the Poison Spider, which you cannot find no more. Um, I do want to give out a special thanks to my brother-in-law, Daniel, uh, who found this for me. Um, <clears throat> what we're going to do is, I am pretty partial, I like this body, I don't want to tear it up, so we're going to make our own body, and it did come with, uh, the stock, and all I did, this is plexiglass, guys, you can see that is a little dirty, but I cut that out of plexiglass here, uh, and put that on. Don't know if I quite like it yet, um, but what I did is I made a template out of cardboard, and then I cut it out of some aluminum, make sure I can get all my bins and everything, and then we're going to go with some thicker aluminum to make sure it all fits, but that's what we're going to be working on today, guys. So, uh, stay tuned. So guys, uh, the way I did do this is I just took a cardboard uh, box, which this was a great value uh, ice cream box, and I cut it up. Just, you know, I kind of followed the body lines of what I had before and put it on there. Um, I know most, most everybody, or uh, when you buy these, you know, it cuts off right here. I do want to leave this here though because I want fender flares. I don't, you know, I still want a little bit of a fender here. I like the the way the original body is. Um, and I want to try to do something in the rear. I want to be different than everybody else. I do like this, this look here. And we'll definitely try something different with the bump or the, the hood. Um, I haven't figured quite what we're going to do to the rear, but we'll also be, you know, changing up the rear. And we'll be moving uh, the battery up front because that's that's a definite must on this rig, guys. So, <clears throat> like I said, all I did, you can see this thing is in like three different pieces. I just kind of pieced, you know, each piece up there and taped it up. Um, you can see that this is a little bit different than that piece. And this is just real, real thin, cheap aluminum uh, that I, I did my first one with. And then we'll use the more expensive, I think it's 0.25 aluminum that we'll be using uh, to make our final cut. I just want to make sure everything fits. Uh, these are the original posts. And then this is one that holds uh, front together here. And this one, uh, I'm going to have to work this out because this has got a little bit of cranks, kinks. And don't quite like the rear yet. <clears throat> also thinking maybe trying to make a working tailgate or something like that. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Alright guys, got both sides cut out. Um, I did use this. I used a cutting uh, off of a Dremel. And... Good thing is uh, both sides match, uh, so you only got to make one template. Um, bad thing, I didn't realize that this screw back here is actually cut off inside the plastic, so I'll have to be fixing that. 
and I'm off just a tad here in the back. So we'll have to take that back off, cut this a little bit, and adjust this. Figure out, because I do want tail lights, and I'm still deciding, trying to make a tailgate, possibly. But the next thing, uh, like I said, I want fender fenders on there. So, um, I don't know if you guys remember my uh, red Jeep, which my daughter has got now, and it is a white Jeep, and we got a whole nother body, um, thanks to Wolfpack RC. Guys, check them out. Uh, but we got these fender flares here. These almost look the same as this because, of course, this is supposed to be a Jeep, right, guys? So we're going to take these off of here and try to retrofit them on here. Okay, guys, what I'm doing is I'm uh, taking these fenders, and since they're plastic, you can kind of bend them into the shape uh, to go along the fender there. I kind of outlined where I wanted that. I used a 1 16th drill bit, and you can drill from this side. So what, like I got it held up there with a tape, and let's see if I can get a good angle here. And you can drill from this side with a 1 16th, and you won't mess up because your threads are on this side. 1 16th, you know, mark it. And then you go back with your 3 seconds, and that's the right hole. But see... It doesn't fit exactly through there, but it stretches, which is going to be hard to do with it stretches because it's plastic and you can make it fit. Um, you could even heat it, you know, with a heating gun uh, to kind of bend it in how you want, but it's, it's going to fit pretty nice. Uh, that front one definitely is going to look really good. So let me get these holes drilled I'll do it on both sides and then we'll take we'll take it off um, I'm also thinking about using the tail lights off of the same one putting the tail lights back here I still got to do a little bit of trimming back here to make this fit and then um, I still got to go to the hardware store because I'm thinking about putting in a mesh here uh, for I'll, I'll for the tailgate or however I'm going to do this all right guys one side down I really like the look and I know I know some of you guys are thinking oh man just ruined some of his flex but I mean that's at the top yeah it's gonna rub a little bit not bad it's gonna turn still hitting yeah it's gonna hit some um, yeah sometimes you do get in those situations where you're gonna hit but I like it different. Everybody, everybody's got it cut off here where the panel ends here and there's nothing here or it's all flat here. I like to be a little bit different. So I like the look. Um, the back is not too bad. So let's get on to the other side. All right, guys, here she looks. Uh, the only thing I did off camera is I did get put these off. I had these on another rig. Um, got these off of eBay. And makeshift some uh, RC four-wheel drive uh, shaft or uh, centerpieces to uh, push it out. A little harder to see. Give it a little wider stance. That way we're not uh, hitting my fenders that I wanted on here. Um... But there we are for part one of this build. Uh, we still got to make a grill, the front, uh, obviously a hood. We'll be moving the battery tray then. And we still got to fix that back in. But, uh, but as always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, thank you all for watching. And we'll see you all in the next episode.